Hello, hello. My internet is super slow. So. How are you guys? This is Robin with Craig and Creations. How are you? Say hi when you pop on, please. I am trying to find my live on my iPad. Hi, Kathy Cox. Happy Friday to you. I don't know if I'm going to be able to share this. So if you guys would please share this video, sprinkle it out. I would appreciate it because I am not having much luck here. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started because I don't want to wait for that. But I do need to turn my air on. So give me just a second. Okay. Hi, Neva. All right, so let's get going. So I have some other things I need to do, and I am not... Oh, wait, here we go. Nope, it's taking its sweet time. I'm not able to sprinkle my own lives, so... If you guys would do that for me, I'd appreciate it. All right, so the project for today, um, on Wednesday, we made that beautiful um, blessed sign and we decoupaged a napkin onto a piece of wood. So today, I'm working with a brand new pro product that I just got in the mail. Um, hang on, I just, my... Seems like it's going to take forever today. Anyway, I am using a vegetable can from my house. So I don't know about you guys, but I don't throw stuff like that out. Facebook is acting up again. Yes, I know. It's like taking forever for anything to load. All the videos I've watched today have been like dragging. Like it'll get to a certain point and then it'll stop. I hope it's not doing that for me. If it is, maybe y'all want to go over to YouTube and watch. Because I am streaming live over there too. But I did take the label off of my can. Let's see. You can see here I took the label off. And I throw these in the dishwasher to get them good and clean. And then the, the little spot on it where the top pops off, I push that down with a pair of needle nose pliers. So it's not going to scratch anybody up if you reach your hand inside the can. Let's see if I can find my live on my iPad here. I did, but let's see if it's going to let me share it oh it's taking forever <laughs> we'll let you know when the post is ready oh my goodness that's what i just got told anyway i'm just going to keep going because this is taking forever but at least i can see the comments now on my ipad so Alrighty, we're gonna use this tin can. Now what I did with this after it's all cleaned and everything, um, I got rid of all the sharp edges on the inside of the can was I spray painted it gold. And I used Prylon. I finished up the other can. This is a brand new can, but it's the same thing that I used. I used um, premium metallic 18 karat gold. And that's what I sprayed the inside of the can. Look how pretty. 
Otherwise, I'd be this on the inside too. So that's what I did there. Spray painted it and I, any sharp edges, I put them down. See, I'm frozen on Facebook. So if y'all are having an issue, go over to, to um, YouTube and try to find me there. Anyway, I'm just going to keep going. All right, so that's what I've done so far is, and you can um, use acrylic paint if you want, but it was like, it took me like 10 seconds to spray paint this instead of having to hand paint the whole inside of it like that. Froze on Facebook. See, it's frozen for some, but not for others. Maybe try YouTube if you guys have YouTube and you want to hang out with me and, and chit chat while I do this. Because I'm using a product, you guys, I've never used before, but I've seen other people use it. Uh, you're not frozen. Okay, you're not frozen either. All right, well, maybe it's just me. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we don't have any bad weather here right now, so I don't know. Anyway. So that's what I've done so far to my can, and I like these bigger... Um, I have some of the smaller, like vegetable cans or soup cans or whatever, but when I can get some of these bigger ones, I like these bigger ones to help hold stuff. Now, I am going to be using this one for me, and I've already got something that's going in it, which is the um, the craft sticks that are the medium sized. These are the large ones, but the medium sized ones are going to go in here because I use all sizes for everything. Hi, Georgie. All right, so that's our can. And if what I have doesn't work, I always have a backup with the napkins. So I do have a couple of napkins um, here that I can use if this doesn't work, but I'm pretty sure this is gonna work. I've seen other people do it. So, let me get that out of the way. What this is, is rice paper. Have you guys ever, heard of rice paper or used it yourself. This is rice paper. It is super thin paper. And I'm gonna show you the ones that I bought. This one is called the Teal Harlequin. So you can see the Harlequin pattern in there. Look how pretty that is. This one, let's see if I have some place to put that. So you can see the back of it. Can you see, um, it, it's kind of, I, I don't know, it's, it's different. It's super thin, not as thin as a napkin, but not as thick as a piece of paper either. You haven't used it, Kathy? So this one is called um, Steampunk Portrait. And I love Halloween, so I thought this would be really cool to like put on a, um, a top hat. So that's what I got this one for, was I wanted to try putting some stuff on a top hat. All right, so this is the one here. I want to see if this will fit here. And it just barely, the whole thing won't fit. It's not going to be wide enough. So I might have to go to the napkin, but we'll see. I really wanted to use this. All right. And then this one is called the Bee, Bee Heirloom. Um, and then I got some of these smaller ones. Y'all know if you've been with me for a while, I, I like making my own thank you cards and things like that. So these are smaller squares that I can make cards out of or little signs for my tiered trays or something like that. So that's those. This paper is so cool. I can't wait to actually try it. Now this is really pretty. 
This is called Painted Butterflies. Look at the detail in this paper. Look how pretty. They almost look 3D right off the page. And then there is this one. Beautiful. This one is sun, sunflowers and monarch butterflies. Yes, Kathy, I love the butterflies too. All right, so maybe this harlequin one. No, I wanted to put that on a top hat. But, I mean, it would fit. Maybe I could get both out of it because my top hats are not that tall. My top hats are only, oh, I could do both. That would be cool. All right, I think I'm using this one because I need it to go all the way around the can and it just barely doesn't. You'll see that? It would cut off right there. So maybe the rice paper isn't how I need to go. But I wanted to show you guys that. I was hoping something would work. Um, I really wanted this one. But the whole thing's not going to fit on there. I am all froze up on my iPad. So I hope you guys are still hanging with me. All right, these are super flimsy. Let me get them put away so I don't accidentally rip them. And I will go with my napkins again. If it were a smaller can, the rice paper would work. I would I would give it a shot, but I already have an idea for the bigger B thing. So if you guys are looking for rice paper, you want to try it out, go to decoupagequeen.com. So I can put this away. I'm not going to need it to cut the paper. So this is my homemade um, cup holder that I have used before on my live. I'm going to put it here and this is how I'm going to do this. And today I'm going to use um, polycrylic to put it on with. No different than using Mod Podge. You could use Mod Podge, you could use polycrylic, anything that will help it stick down. Okay, so these are my options. This is that napkin that I wanted to use the other day, but it wasn't big enough for the sign. It is big enough for my can. However, since my can is going to be out year round, I don't necessarily want it to look totally fall, which that does. So I think I have eliminated that. And then I have this one, but Let's see if this one will fit. That one will fit and that'll act as like a, that actually fits pretty well. All right, so that's a contender. And then I have this Mackenzie Child snap and that I got from the paper place. And I actually think I like this one better. For this project, I think that's what I like better. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use this one. And again, I forgot tape. So let's see if my fingers will work for this one. I'm licking my two fingers. Let's 
and pulling the flies apart. Sure, what's your question, Neva? All right. So I am going to. So you've got four panels. I only need two. So I'm going to cut this in half. So now I have this part that's left. If I Mod Podge a napkin on wood, can you then put paper over it also? Um, you can. You would have to um, take your wood, paint it or stain it, whatever you're going to do, leave it natural. You're going to Mod Podge. And then put your napkin down. You're going to Mod Podge that again. Wait for it to dry. And then um, I, I don't know if you're like putting napkin on the whole thing and then like a, a small paper, like a picture or something over the top of it. Um, wait for it to dry and then do your Mod Podge where you're going to put the paper and put it down. It's just every layer needs to have um, Mod Podge under and on top of it or polycrylic under and on top of it or Mod Podge under it and polycrylic over the top of it. You can totally do it whatever way. But yes, you can you can layer those. All right. So I'm going to take this I want to take my mom's recipe on it for all. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. That would be awesome. That's perfect. Yeah, you can do a napkin and then, um, you know, Mod Podge, napkin, Mod Podge, recipe, Mod Podge. That's how that would go. <laughs> Hopefully that made sense. All right, so I'm going to start here in the middle and work my way to the back. You're welcome, Eva. And I used Mod Podge as my layer between my wood and, and napkin last time. This time I'm using polycrylic. No real reason. I could use Mod Podge if I wanted to, but. I just wanted to use something different. Hi, Brenda. How are you? Okay, so now I'm just going to take this.
and just being very gentle, putting it into the acrylic that I laid down. Being gentle so I don't tear the napkin. All right, so now I'm going to shift it a little bit. Flip this side up. And put a little bit more down. What's everybody up to today? Are y'all working? Are y'all crafting? Is crafting your work like mine is? Of course, I don't feel like I'm working. I get to play every day. All right, now I'm going to gently shift this over to this side. And I do have um, parchment paper down so that hopefully it doesn't um, dry my can to my cup holder. So it's acting as a barrier between the two. Okay, I'm going to keep turning. There's like no easy way to do this. I just don't want to tear my napkin. All right, you can see my seam here. So I'm towards the back. In cleaning, I like to get all the things done before the weekend. Oh, I hear you. Hi, Louise. Hi, Robin. I'm watching my granddaughter trying to make wreaths and cooking baked rigatoni. A lot going on. Hope you're well. Yes, I'm doing good. I have um, my craft fairs coming up in, well, they start the second weekend in November. So, uh, and then I have like seven, six or seven weekends in a row of craft fairs. So I've been racking my brain trying to figure out how I'm going to get it all done. I think this is going to turn out pretty. I am going to be busy. Yes, Miss Kathy, I sure am. All right. So now what I'm going to do is get this one side down.
And then I'm going to very gently go over this edge because this has to go on top of that. And y'all know when you wet a napkin, it's very, it will come apart in a heartbeat. I use a little bit of this to help it lay down. Okay. It's exciting. I would love to do a craft fair one day. I need the rest of my life to slow down a bit. <laughs> I know. Craft fairs are hard. I mean, they're a lot to prep for. They're a lot to do there are a lot there's a lot of work that goes into a craft fair so you know you really got to be prepared when you do one for sure okay so I am done with this for right now so I'm gonna stick my brush in my water I will once this is dry go back over it with um another coat of polycrylic or probably triple thick Hi, Miss Mary. Thank you so much for sprinkling. And then, just like I did on the wood piece, I'm going to go around the edges with my sanding block and take off that um, extra napkin on that's hanging off of both ends. So I'm just going to stick my hand right inside. I'm going to have to put it down to get some traction here. Now, polycrylic dries extremely fast. So um, probably the first part that I did is already dry. Now I'm going to do this side. Sorry for the noise. Oh, that's pulling. That's where it was really super wet. I am going to try and cut it instead of rip it. There we go. Agreed. I did my first October 2nd. Good thing it's local. That's right. You did have one and you did really good. They have a three year. So I don't plan on traveling for any. Lots of help too. I have one on December 4th. Looking forward to that one. Yes, they are a lot of work. Difference between using napkins and rice paper. Um, napkins are super stinking thin. Rice paper 
is thinner than regular paper, but not as thin as a napkin. So it all depends on the project you wanted to do. Here you can still see the ridges of the can through the napkin. I wanted to see if um, that would show with the rice paper. I don't know because I've never used the rice paper, but I wanted to try it. I will be trying it. In fact, I have a um, one of those vintage looking uh, silver trays from Dollar Tree that I'm going to be putting the big gigantic B on and making it look like a vintage uh, a vintage um, table tray using the rice paper. So I think I'm going to do that next week. But if y'all missed it, this was just one of those big vegetable cans and I spray painted after I sent it through the dishwasher, I spray painted it gold. So this is the outside, and then we have the gold on the inside. So I'm done with this. It served its purpose. And this is almost dry, you guys. Polycrylic dries super fast. This is already dry that side all dry already this here because i put extra on it it's still a little tacky but the front side is already dry so now at this point i want to take my liquid leaf And a brush that I'm going to throw away when I'm looking at, when I'm done because after you use liquid leaf, it kind of, I don't like dealing with the brushes afterwards, so I just toss them. Hang on, I got to grab my glasses for this part. All right, so this little lip around the can, I want to turn that gold, like the inside. So I'm going to use my what is the napkin, but what, oh. Oh, thank you, Kathy. So I'm just gonna put some liquid gold right on the lip of the can. Nothing fancy, just kind of hit the tip of it with the paintbrush. No, my iPad is still frozen. I do not see my live on my iPad. So if you guys are okay, it must be my internet. Okay, so that lip is now gold. Sorry, I missed it if you said it was sharp where you pulled off the lid. Um, I used needle nose pliers to push that down and it was right here where I clipped it off with my can opener and then I just took needle nose pliers and pushed it down to make it, there's nothing sharp in there at all. It's fine on your end, okay good. <laughs> so it's just mine. All right, so I did around that edge, but now I want to hit, oh, see, that's already dry. Now I want to hit the top of this ridge with some of the gold leaves so it doesn't look gold, silver, and then gold again. It's 
So this is like a zhuzhed up vegetable can. <laughs> Yeah, you don't want any sharp edges, so just use needle nose pliers or something to pinch it and get it to be flush with the bottom of the can. All right, I think I'm good. And that's what we have. Look how pretty. Now at this point, um, Neva, like you were saying, I could take um, another paper or um, let's see, where's, where is So on here, I've got like these, um, it's an Oh Holy Night music sheet. So I could cut that out and put that right on the front. That would be cute, but this isn't the napkin for it. Um, yeah, anyway. So yeah, you could keep adding layers to this, but this is gonna be holding my craft sticks. So this is as far as I'm gonna go, other than waiting for all of it to dry because this part back here is still a little tacky. Um, probably in the next 20, 30 minutes, I'll be able to uh, go back over it with another coat of the polycrylic and it'll be done. Super simple, super easy. So that is it. Now I will be using the rice paper um, next week. I know I do want to make one of those vintage trays and I am going to try and turn it into um, something that I can display on my craft table and hopefully sell. Thank you, Neva. Neva, how big are your recipe cards? Because now you've got my, my brain going. Because I'm going to show you something you could possibly do with it. Did you happen to find any of the small wood um, cutting boards at Hobby Lobby? They look like this. Hang on, let me turn you guys up so I can see the comments better. Hopefully I don't pop you guys out of the holder because I did that already once. So they're this big. They're at Hobby Lobby in the oh, fall section, I think. So if your Hobby Lobby still has any, these are 50% off. I don't know how much they were because I already took the bags off of all of mine. But this would be really cute. What kind of recipe is it? Let's see, did you say? What did you just say? I think yours is out of those already. Oh, no. I can't see. I have it handwritten with going to print it on paper. Yes, that's what you were wanting to get. That, you know, depending on the type of recipe, like if you have pumpkin pie recipe, gingerbread cookie recipe, it's a small recipe. Yes, you can also yeah, type it up on your computer and you can shrink it as small as you need. 
but put that on here with maybe, you know, some peppermint candies or something on it. Put a thing on it. They can hang it in the kitchen or even hang it on their tree. Um, that would be super cute. Your handwriting is really good. Go ahead and handwrite it on there, but I would, I would print it off and decoupage it. You have to be careful though when you um, print something on your computer and then try to decoupage it onto something um, because the ink from your printer will smear when you go to decoupage over the top of it. So when you do that, um, you either have to be really quick with your decoupage. Don't put so much um, Mod Podge or polycrylic on when you're doing it. Do it very lightly and do it fast. <laughs> I've even taken some and hit it with hairspray and let it dry before decoupaging over it because the ink will smear from your computer. Just FYI. I don't want you to ruin you know, what you're trying to do. But if it does smear, rip it off and try again. I've ruined many signs by doing that. <laughs> so it's just something computers do. Unless you have a laser printer, that might not do it. But my inkjet, the ink smears. So anyway, all right, you guys. This is the project for today. I'm super happy with it. Oh, it's already dry. That gold leaf stuff dries really quick. This is almost dry. So I should be able to um, uh, seal this in about 10 minutes. You're welcome, Neva. All right, you guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you guys have an awesome, fabulous, wonderful weekend. And I think we're supposed to get a little bit of weather, but it shouldn't be too bad. Thank you, Laurie. Hi, Laurie. Haven't seen you in a while. All right, you guys. Have a great weekend. Bye.